Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. We are gathered here for the Thanksgiving service for the life of Nathan Delon of Baxter. And I know that this is a time where we are questioned and wondering. I want to make this experience as wonderful as it can be, but at the same time we want to not to prolong too long because the longer we are gathered here, the more the grief for the family. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 So Pastor, you notice that Pastor Winston Peko is not here right now. He's about five or so minutes away, but he has given us the okay to go ahead until he comes, all right? So I ask you to stand as one. Well. David therefore besought God for the child. And David fasted and went in and lay all night upon the earth. The elders of the house arose and went to him to rise up from the earth. But he would not. Neither did he eat bread with them. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died. And the servant of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we spake unto him, and he would not hearken unto our voice. How? Will he then vex himself if we tell him that the child is dead? But when David saw that, they, that his servant whispered, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servants, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. Then David arose from the earth and washed and anointed himself and changed the parent and came into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he came to his house, his own house. When he required that they set thick bread before him and he did eat. Then said his servant unto him, What thing is this that thou hast done? That thou didst fast and weep for the child while he was alive. But when the child is dead, thou, thou didst rise and eat bread. He said, While the child was yet alive, I fasted and weep. For I said, Who can tell whether God will be gracious to me? that the child may live, but now he is dead. Wherefore should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Come and worship the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Remain standing as I ask you comported to pray for us at this time. Let us pray. Eternal God and our Father, we gather here today, Almighty God, to celebrate the long life of David. Almighty God, we ask that you will continue, O oh God, to strengthen us. Strength the family, Almighty God. We pray, Almighty God, that you will despot angels drawn and above them, Almighty God, to give them the strength that they need, Almighty God. And as Almighty God, we are here today, my God. Let us remember the good moments that we share with young Nathan. My God, it is not easy to lose a loved one. Oh God, it is not easy that when you come in, this, in the morning or in the evening, you're still looking for it. But he's somewhere around the throne of God today. My God, we continue, oh God, to lift up your name in spite of what is happening around us. Oh God, in spite of what is, oh God, going through our mind at this time. Many questions are asking me right now, but you know why we know. Keep us true, Lord Jesus. Keep us true. We lift up the family before you. We lift up the service before you. And we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The blessings of the Lord be with us today as we go through this funeral service. And from experience, I can tell you that it is a rough time, but at the same time, I am not sure of what the family is going through. I can only imagine. Amen. Because definitely I don't know. Amen, Church of God. Some people will tell you that I know what you are going through. Nobody really knows. Amen. 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 So I sympathize with the family. I give my support. But at the same time, I'm not sure of what you are going through. But I know the God that I serve is an understanding God. He's a God who cares about us. And sometimes we may question why, but he has all the answers. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. As we welcome our host pastor, pastor, or we recognize, sorry, we can welcome him in his own house. We recognize our host pastor's presence, Reverend Winston Pickle. Join me in singing. Or well, just before we, I'm seeing some ministers and they in the congregation, and we have some seats up here. Is it all right that we will come to bless you, ministers, pastors? Uh, we 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 are pressed for seats, so could you join us up here? I think I saw Mr. Azan somewhere. Or is he find a seat already? Come on, just let us sing. Some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the
in the name of Jesus, we're going to our program, you may be seated. And when we're going into our program and our first lesson on your program, it says, A Shane Wright. But on my program, is still Armstrong. And we'll be doing the first lesson. Then we'll have a selection by Sister Meek, Sister Michael, sorry, friend. And then the second lesson by Tanisha Hilton, cousin. Let's see. Those who are, we're going to use this lecture here. Let's see. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today's first lesson is taken from Ecclesiastes 12, reading from verses 1 through to 12. Ecclesiastes 4, reading from verses 1 through to 12. And you just follow as I read. So I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no comforter. And on the side of their oppressors, there was power, but they had no comforter. Wherefore, I praised the dead, which are already dead, more than the living, which are yet alive. Yet better is he than both they, which hath not yet been, who had not seen the evil work that is done under the sun. Again, I consider all travail and every right work, that for this a man is envied of his neighbor. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. The fool falleth his hands together and eateth his own flesh. Better is an handful with quietness than both the hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. Then I returned and saw the vanity under the sun, there is one alone, and there is not a second, not a second. Yea, he hath neither child nor brother, yet there is no end of his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches. Neither saith he, for whom do I labor, and bereave my soul of good. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. Yea, it is a sorrowful travail. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward of their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Here it is a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Amen. Bless your soul. to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed, in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must hold itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. 
when the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the same that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the, in the Lord is not in vain. We end the reading of God's word by saying, Thanks be to God. <coughs> Lord, you can reach down and touch the place on the inside where the new man Yes, Lord. Oh, the closer I 
Lincoln, this alma mater, the Frank Field. And I say, the Frank Field. Primary and junior high school. And we have our principal, infant, or infant, Frank Field Primary and infant school. We have our principal present with us, Mr. Scarlett. We have also Pastor Thomas, Minister Dawson, and Minister Gordon. And as I already said, our host pastor, pastor. We have other ministers in the congregation, and we greet you well. And as we proceed in this program, those who are coming in, just tell them that they are welcome, and their presence is very much appreciated. At this time, we're going to be taking the children from the Frankfield Primary. At this time. I mean, so instead of the yes, instead of the Frankfield Primary, we will be taking Grantham Church of God. Journey for all of us. 
Your journey can be short, it can be long, or it can be in between. Nathan's journey has been pretty short. But we we'll complain, but the Creator has other greater plans for him. And I comfort my heart in saying that his purpose has already been served on this earth. A short journey. But what I want for you, congregation, this morning, you are here, he's gone. He's your soul well with God. He's your soul well with God. What is my student?
faithful in spite of all the challenges that you have faced. So bless God and continue serving.
officiating ministers, the story channels, and other members on the platform, members of the bereaved family, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good day. On behalf of the Franklin Primary and Infant School family, that includes the Board of Management, the staff, the students, and the parents, we would like to offer our deepest and sincere condolences to the members of the bereaved family. Noel Nathan was a student at Franklin Primary and Infant School, and like you, we are still trying to process. As we present our tribute this morning, I do hope that it will serve as a source of inspiration, a source of solace, and a source of comfort. Good morning, everyone. Children are unique and remarkable, special in their own way. They sometimes have a way of leaving an indelible mark as you work with them, that is not irreversible. Nathan was one of such. He was pleasant and loving, calm and peaceful. He was not daunted by the fact of his illness, but was active and brave. He took part in all class activities and he really loved the school. He had a close bond with his classmates and would play with them outside when I would be so worried that something might happen to him out there. He was so full of life on his good days. I will not forget his warm, trusting smiles. I'm sure if heaven has a playground, he would be playing all around, free from all pain, all the pains that he wants for. We miss him, but he's resting in a better place. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It was a sad day in Hatchet Hill. The family gathered to say their last goodbye to sweet little boy, so full of life. Wondering why the pretty baby had died, her sister reached out to hold his hand. Wouldn't let go, after all he was her twin. Daddy tried to explain, you can't hold but we need it.
This is why at the beginning I said I don't know what this family is going through. Because Nathan's little sister might be asking these same questions. Does heaven has a plan? I said at the beginning of this program, I don't want to be long here. So I'm asking that the tributaries be mindful of the fact that the longer we keep discussing in this place in front of this grieving family, it's the more painful the grief becomes. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So we're asking you to just be moderate in your endeavors. Let's say the name of Jesus. We move on with the truths. So we now have morons. Full truths. At this time. Morons. And then reverence. Barrett's rights. Then after reverend rights, we have another poem by the Church of God in Jamaica, Grandpa. More and he worship the name of Jesus.
Mr. Moderator, Overseer Hall, Post Pastor Reverend Winston Peku, other ministers that are on the platform and elsewhere. Mr. Richard Azam, choir, brothers and sisters, pardon me for saying my family, because indeed they are. Mourners all, I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord. I recall in 2014 that Mother's Day on the second Sunday in May, as I stood around the podium right here at this church, Sister Shamoy Baxter, who has always been looking after the mothers of the church, giving the mothers gifts on Mother's Day. Though she herself was married for a number of years, she was not one who was privileged to be among the mothers who received Mother's Day gifts. But she gave and she ensured that every mother that comes to the church would receive a gift on Mother's Day. I stood there and as I watched her, later on I realized it was prophetic because I said to her then, this is the last Mother's Day that you will be giving, you will be receiving a gift. Everyone slighted it, including myself, but a few months later I was called and the sister who called me said to me, Pastor, you prophesied it and it come to pass. Shamoy is pregnant. Then comes the gift from God. As the name Nathan means gift from God. Precious gift indeed. He came, he made his mark on this earth. He fulfilled his purpose. And I believe that as God would have brought him through such prophetic means, I believe that that which Nathan had started, including the impact that he had on all those with whom he come in contact, I believe it will continue. And that kind of love that Nathan had, I believe that that love doesn't end with Nathan leaving us, but it will continue. I want to say to the family, Sister Shamor, I don't see Edson. Okay. Yes. Edson, Sister Stevenson, other family members, I want to say to you that it is the Lord that lent to us Nathan. And somebody says God gives life and he takes. I am truly happy in a sense that it wasn't someone who gone down Nathan because it would be a different kind of morning. And with what we are seeing happening in our land today, where people are 
children are being murdered, kidnapped, and all of that. We thank God that it is his providence, it is his care, it is his doing. And so I just want to say to you that the Lord be your strength. He will enable you to surpass the ins what seems to be insurmountable. And God will see you. So we want to say to young Nathan, rest well, son. We love you, but God loves you best. God bless you, Jesus. Whether you want to say it doesn't exist or 
that he exists, he is still God. Amen. And he is in control. Amen. I'm in church of God. Amen. Whether you want to serve him, yes or no, that's up to you. But God still God. is in control. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. For me, as a pastor, if you don't want me to pastor your church, you can just call a meeting and say, we don't want this and the bishop will come down and replace me. But well, you can't replace God. Uh, you can't call a meeting on God. God have mercy. Somebody hear me now, man. I'm in church of God. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. You, you can't call an embargo on God. You can't dethrone him. He's God all by himself. And right now he's in control. It doesn't matter how we take this. He is in control, someone. Everybody here understand that, that he is in control. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when that painful heart it is, it is pleasant. He is in control. And it's time we ask Sister Azan to bring greetings. Let's say in the name of Jesus. Children are your special jobs. Very special. And sometimes they are saying some things to us as, as adults and we don't listen. We don't pay much mind to them. But as Pastor Wright said, it would be a different day today if it was the one or somebody is this child today? Last night, I was watching a video and I see somebody said, and I, I don't know what it happened, but you know, it's something that I, I, I said I don't really want to watch again. That little eight month old child. And when I listen, I don't know in how this first come by that video. By saying that, the child was playing with the person. Yes. And when the mother watch and see that the person give the child three shots. I said to myself, how cool we are. An eight month old child who can't even talk. It shows that something is wrong with us. Our hearts are so cold. 
And pastors, I believe that some people are taking some things that some of us don't know what they're taking. Mm. It's not coke anymore. It is something else. Because people don't understand when they see a child on the road, you must protect them. You must love them. Because it really hurts. I am not going to say that I would want to know how mommy feel and that is new to me. Because if it was my child in the casket, I don't know if any room could have leave or could have gone in. I don't know. But the Lord give us the account. And the Lord take me here. And the Lord said to some of us today, we are so blessed that we are older than we can. And we must give him thanks. We must give him thanks. Because look how Nathan lived only eight years. And very, very big hope, Nathan touched some people's life. And some old, old people don't touch somebody's life. Some very old, old people. I was listening to a pastor last week. Brother, brother, how? Nobody said that too long. But I was listening to the pastor at a funeral. And he said that, you know, there are some people when they are sick and they go to, to visit them and pray with them. And he started the pastor, you know, about the land business. And he said, I didn't go with that. And that way, but when you go to some and they only pray to God, is that different? Yes. So Nathan has touched some life. And for us who are older than Nathan, is that he has touched some life. Let us live our life. Shine. Shine. Now we can live here today as brand new people. Amen. Brand new because of Nathan. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you, everyone who have given their tributes from Mr. Smythe right down to Mr. Azan. And church, I am not in the comment more than so, but I must say, even though it's Mrs. Baxter that gave birth to this child, I can't imagine how X is feeling right now. Because this man, this family, they worked out their thing. And while Mrs. Baxter went to work, Edson was home. Lord of mercy. And he gave his heart. Welcome to put your hands together for I'm just here to give support. Be strong, my God. Uh, we're about to collect the offering, but I'm going to be changing this song. And I'm going to be you, because Mr. Azan says no rope could tie him if it was his child. So we're going to sing, Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Where are the ushers?
one's life, whether you are a Christian or not Christian. But may I hasten to tell you that it's not every time that you pray, the prayer will be answered the way you ask for it. Watch this. It was brought to my attention last night. I know it, you know, but it was brought to my attention that Jesus prayed. And Jesus says, Father, keep them and let them be one. Come on, ministers. And immediately after Jesus prayed, the enemy will come in and scatter all of the disciples. So sometimes we pray and they'll come. Let's pray that the will of God be done.
will require them sing for interpretation for the servant of God as in the of the Son.
Nathan and his neighbor. Nathan was on his way from Grantham, when Gra way from Grantham's grandma Sonia, when he was greeted by a neighbor who called him, Mas Nathan. Nathan replied sternly, I'm not a big man. My name is Nathan Baxter. <laughs> Nathan the hugger. Nathan was always a warm hugger. And he always hugged and told his mom and dad that he loved them. Nathan's favorite food. Nathan's favorite food was fried chicken and chips, which his dad ate from take for him every Friday. He also used to love fish for lunch. But one day he had an unfortunate encounter with the fish bone got in his throat. And from that moment, Nathan stopped eating fish. Nathan's encouraging words. When he got sick and his father would tell him that he would have to carry him to the hospital, he responded, Daddy, I'm going to survive this. Nathan had his birthday wish. He always yearned for remote control cars for his birthday. For his last birthday, he wrote a list of things he wanted. On Shamoy's way from school, she took pictures of the toys on the list Nathan gave and showed him the picture to ask which of the toys he really liked. The following day, Shamoy bought the toys and hid them in a corner. He, however, didn't get to celebrate his usual birthday with him. So it was early in September. 2023, Nathan had had on an on and off fever, which made which made him look frail. And on his visit to the hospital, they ordered him to do blood work. The results revealed or came back that he contracted dengue fever, which further complicated was complicated by the fact that he has six cell disease. Nathan spent his final days expecting his mom to return home for the weekend. He felt such joy when he saw her burst through the doors. Little did we know that an angel would come and take him from us shortly after that. But the Lord saw it fit to take him home on Friday, September 8th, 2023, at 8.06 p.m., just one week shy of his eighth birthday. Nathan was a dearest son brother, grandson, nephew, grandnephew, cousin, and a dear friend left us to be in heaven. He is now terribly missed by his father, Edson, and mother, Shamoy, sister, Torian, grandmothers, Carmen Baxter and Sonia Stevenson, grandfathers, Errol Becky and Antonia Baxter, uncles, aunts, cousins, godparents, neighbors, teachers and friends. We give the Lord Jesus praise for a life lived, for the memories we have to cherish, and for the many blessings he bestowed upon his servants. As his little light goes out, it is time for us all to shine a little brighter, so pass on the joy, love, and hope that we experience through the life of Nathan Delano Baxter. We thank God for his life, May his soul rest in peace, and life perpetual shines upon him. Sometimes I'm down and somebody calls. Even since we 
somebody call and say, Sister Richard, I just finished saying a prayer of prayer. So I want to encourage you today. Keep praying, keep believing, and we will write all this stuff. Amen.
and the green grass. And later, the parted unto his house. And the Lord struck the child of Uriah while beer unto David. And it was very sick. David therefore sought God for the child, and David fasted, and went in and lay all night upon the earth. And the elders of his house arose and went to him, to raise him up from the herd, but he would not. Neither did he eat bread with them. And it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died. And the servant of David feared to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was yet alive, we speak unto him, and he would not harm unto our voice. How will he then vex himself if we tell him that the child is dead? But when David saw that his servant whispered, David perceived that the child was dead. Therefore David said unto his servant, Is the child dead? And they said, He is dead. Then David arose from the hurt and washed and anointed himself, and changed his apparel and ate into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he came to his own house, and when he required, they set bread before him, and he did eat. Then it said his servant unto me, What thing is this that thou hast done? Thou didst pass and weep for the child while it was alive. But when the child was dead, thou didst rise and eat bread. And he said unto them, While the child was yet alive, I fasted and I wept. For I said, Who can tell? Whether God will be gracious to me that the child may live. But now he is dead. Wherefore shall I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. This is the word of the Lord. I like to use as a team very shortly this afternoon. I hold you again in heaven. I hold you again in heaven. When I got the news that night that Newton was no more, and I made some call, first thing I said, I said, I tried to call Minister Stevenson, but never knew that she wasn't her own. Upon investigation, I heard that she wasn't here. When I speak to Sean, I said, oh, you mean? I said, how is Mr. Baxter doing? And I have specific reason for asking that. Because when Sean is in poor, poor at work, you would have seen Mr. Baxter up and down and sometimes would stop and I would be playing with the children. I am not even trying to fathom how I feel. Because I believe every time you look around in that car, in the old year, the eternal voice. Of all the dead church, a child that is most unnatural and hardest to be. It is a common thing for children to bury their parents, not for parents to bury their children. This is my second function from army. And everywhere I go from day to day, I recognize that the conscience of the nation has been damaged when everybody keep talking about the 10 month old child. From politician to pastors, from paupers to the rich people, our children are fast dying all around us. We expect the world to die. Why that kind of separation is always natural, it comes as no surprise. But the death of a young child or a youth is a different matter all together. Life with its beauty, wonders and potential lies ahead for them. 
I mean, they were big plan for later. He was striving at Frankfield. When we came here five pounds, five or so years ago, he said I was just a small tap. And I can tell you, Neil Gan was a very sharp young man. And you know, he can be very feisty at time. Amen. But you know, it's only again, dear Tana. If you didn't know that dear Tana had sickle cell, you wouldn't know he was a sick child. He has his future before him. But the life, my friend, death with his cruel hands. When death is a cruel thief when it's tried down the young. One thing I know about death, you can't burn a bar against it. Oh, no. You can't harm yourself against it. For Hebrews 9 and verse 27 says, It is appointed unto man who wants to die. You cannot tell that no come no, come tomorrow. Because when he turns up, he comes as the grim reaper. In a way, my friend, when somebody that because he could do a preaching on two morning. In a way that is a different from other relationships. Because a child is a bone of his spirit. Bone and flesh and flesh of the appearance. And caregiver in a unique way. In the scripture before us, there's a story that offers us some insight and comfort as we share in the grief of the pastors and the Stevens. David and Bathsheba, the boy, live only seven days. Near time is seven years and a couple months. Yeah. Mm. The difference between uh, the boss's son and that of David and Bathsheba, it was a different man wife that David get all his child with. And God intervened and said, I'm taking back this child. These words that we have read indicate that true prayer. David came to comfort by God persevation. And my first point to you want us to remember we all can be recalled. Touch your neighbor and say, We can be recalled. It doesn't matter who you are, we all can be recalled. We can live like tomorrow is promised to us, but we all can be recalled. Touch your neighbor and say, I'm waiting on my hour to be recalled. Grief 
until you find relief. Dear feet, did a holler, dear feet, did a ball. And I pray uh, for the boy to come back. Hear me and hear me well. Don't let the body tell you so much about. Ball if you want. Holler if you want. Because nobody understands the relationship and the impact that needs to have on your life. Can I talk to you? To so some answer, respond in grief.
of our spirit. God loves children. Jesus, when he walks the earth, he says, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven. When a child dies, all of us struggle with the purpose and the will of God. Every person has a purpose in the divine design. She couldn't get pregnant and I was told that for a long time the church was praying. For a long time the church was fasting until God fertilized the over. for the child. Oh, God never tell her what time he's going to take the child. Can I talk to you? Because he's suffering. So somebody has said, God, you have to come tell you. Oh, God, I feel it here. Can I preach for five more minutes? You need to realize also that this child, until you need to release this child until you are rejoined. Such as if I say, release. Release. This was last week I was here preaching and I was telling them something. Some people are with them and they, they want to find out about the wheel. They want to talk about the land. They want to talk about the land. They want to talk about the poor about the kingdom of God. And they are dead because their possession possess them. But it's time. God has no one near that to you. And I know that over a period of time, just release him in the hands of God. Yes. We hold him 
Nigeria. Amen. Now go over here, but I need to talk about the great grandmother. Uh, so, we will. What a time to go over here to Bayanda. We can't, people can't end up with a road sign anymore because they're not all criminal. But we are getting. We are getting. How do you see it,
Beyond the river, that's beyond. 